What's up everyone? Today is May the 6th and small update, not really too much going on today. Got the last coat of paint on all this molding here. <clears throat> and touched up all the green so it looks a lot better. Let's go to the hallway and show you what we did. Or what my uncle did. Let's just say we. So he repainted his gray here all the way down. Because um, when he was sanding inside of this, he got scuffed it up some. So he primered all of the, the sides of the stairs. Primered all of that right here. All the way to the wall. Then he primered the back of that door case and we just passed by in the fronts of all these stairs. So that was a job in itself. And then up the sides of the stairs here. And I'll take you into the living room or the den. So one of my plans for today is I'm gonna try to get this door out this afternoon and then see where we go. Just kind of want to get an inside, I mean an outside view of it real quick on our patio here. Hopefully it'll go smooth. We'll see. Just the inside shot of it. Showing how it looks. So the bottom of this right door is all rotted at the very bottom. So you can kind of see it down there where the bottom fell out of it. Really need to get this thing done. So I'm going to try to put this guy in. See how it goes. Pretty much got a hole in here. <clears throat> so I'm getting ready to see if I can slide that thing in here. It's been kind of tough trying to do it by yourself. I really need an extra hand. So finally got the doors in. I had to foam around it where the door was not quite as wide as the old door, the way it worked out. So I'll have to get some new metal put around it, which I was going to do anyway. But I went to Lowe's <clears throat> and I picked up some handles. And man, that was a workout in itself. But I got the Slage um, Connect. I don't know what that means, but I just liked it because I had the touchpad. And then for the bottom part, it'll have this little lever here. I like the levers. And then it'll have the lever for the inside too, versus the knob. <clears throat> so let me get them on and we'll see what it looks like. So finally got it in. The top part here wasn't too bad. That was real easy actually. That bottom part was a little bit of a joker. I don't know why. <clears throat> but got it in on both sides. It's working. So we'll take the inside. You'll see now that it's locked. Pretty snug. And you got your little touch pad that'll light up there. Alright. So can go in. And we'll show you the back side. And then that's the back side. We're gonna sheetrock this wall, take that paneling down, put a new trim around to make it look better. But that's the door. You can see it just turns there like that. Nice and secure, somewhat of secure. And obviously it's only for an honest man to keep the honest people out. So that's the door and that was pretty much all afternoon one more quick thing i am going to get some aluminum side and to wrap around the sides and the top and back down i put some foam in there and it kind of made a mess because it fell down onto my door jam so it's one of those things that if you've ever dealt with that foam it's a whole lot easier to try to get it up once it's dried than trying to mess with it once it's wet <laughs> well, the door's not quite as wide so we'll have to wrap it here back to the wall here and silicone it up to the top and 
then we should be pretty good. The only thing about this door, this door was about 800 and some dollars, I think. I'm not 100% sure. It's supposed to be a rot free door jam, and then the door itself is fiberglass. So <laughs> I know you don't have to worry about the actual door rotting. Now, I wanted to go with wood, but for the case of water getting in there, it's just better to go with fiberglass. I want to probably put a storm door back on here. It had a storm door on it. I'd probably like to put another one back on there just for the sake of protecting the door and having it to where you can keep the door open if you want to. But we'll definitely have to get some blinds for it. So people just ain't um, spying on us or watching us. I know how you neighbors are over there behind me. I like to look through the doors. I'm just kidding. If you're watching this, I'm just kidding. <clears throat> so it looks good. So one little look before I get these three out. It's getting kind of late. I'm kind of bored. So I'm going to try to get these three out and put them in. I obviously won't get them finished because I'll have to caulk them. But I'm going to get them out and get the new ones in. Alright, so all three out, all cleaned up, all ready to go. To me about 40 minutes, I think. <clears throat> I had to scrape off some paint. And that's it. So I'll have them in in a few minutes and we'll check them out. I got all the windows in. Took about six minutes to get them in and leveled up. I still had to come back and foam around them, caulk around them, put the front on there. But it's really, really starting to get late. So I'm not gonna do it that part tonight. I probably will take my flashlight downstairs and just make sure, cause I was just eyeing them, over, looking over them to make sure they look pretty even plus level. <clears throat> I just want to try to make sure the gaps are right on the outside. But there they are, all done.